Imagine you're driving on the freeway, you have hundreds of miles ahead of you, and you think to yourself, why didn't anyone invent a way for me to kick up my feet on the dashboard so I can relax, sip a drink, and just chill? Well, somebody did, and they called this cruise control or autopilot, and we've known this for decades. Skyhoy has brought the same technology to video production. And now you can set your PDC camera in motion, press a button, and just chill. Or more likely, you'll use this to reach higher goals, such as achieving more production value with less of the same people involved. And the idea of cruise control is to enable a dynamic production with a single operator. Let me show you how this works. This is a PDC Extreme. We are hooked up with a Panasonic, a Bird Dog, and a Canon camera. I, I, uh, th this is uh, three different cameras. So it also underlines the point that these controllers are able to work with any brand and any model of those brands. Okay, Panasonic camera is here. I can move this and then, okay, this is all nice. Let's say that we do a slight pan like this. Okay, then we go to Bird Dog and then we move this a little bit. We can maybe zoom out like having a creep zoom or something slow and nice here. Oh, I need to stop now because I need to set up a different camera. So you go to the next one and then you set this one up. So cruise control is what will allow you to have these cameras stay in motion while you are setting up a different one. And your uh, producer can, can change between these cameras and he'll be like, Wow, I have, you know, two or more cameras dynamically moving on this production and there's only a single guy sitting over there. So let's enable cruise control and I'll show you what this can do for you. We will go into the engineering menu. So I press and hold the upper edge of this key. That's a little secret pathway, isn't it? Yes. Um, there's a trace you can enable that's covered in a different video and there's cruise control. So you need to enable this and when we exit, you'll see that a new button has been assigned to cruise control. I think I'll just upfront tell you that there's another way you can achieve this and that is you can plug in a foot pedal on your PTC Extreme's USB port and you can use a foot pedal like a sustain pedal on a piano to keep the movement of the camera you just put in motion. Today we'll just push a button so you can see the same function on a button here. It's essentially the same. Okay, let's go to the Panasonic camera. And now I'll make a slight pan on this one, okay? So we'll just start the pan of this camera. Let's say this is an on-air live camera. And I press down this button. Hands off, I don't touch the joystick. You see the Panasonic camera is like slowly moving. So now I'll go over to the bird dog camera and you see in the picture in picture that the Panasonic stays moving. Now, I would recall a preset on the bird dog camera. Ooh, that is too far. Let's go back here. Okay. Now let's get over here. Thank you. So you see the Panasonic camera is still moving. So this is the framing that I want on the bird dog. So with the producer, I would agree. Okay. Now you can cut over to the bird dog camera here and maybe I'll even start a slow zoom on this one. Okay, so I'll release this button and the Panasonic stopped moving. Now I press this one down and the bird dog stopped, uh, continues moving. I go back to the Panasonic camera and now I can put this one in motion. So you can basically ping pong forth and back like this between your cameras. Let's just try this once again. Let's do it with the Canon camera this time. Okay, I think a creep zoom is a wonderful way you can do this. You can imagine a lot of targets where you would either want to zoom in slowly or zoom out slowly. So let's do this on the Panasonic. We'll just start a slow zoom with a slight tilt and pan, okay? It has to be subtle. Like this, okay. I hold down this one, slightly tilting, panning, and zooming all at the same time. I'll move over to the Canon camera, and you see in the corner the Canon is, uh, the Panasonic is continuing. So with the Pan uh, Canon camera, I'll just, you know, frame, create some framing. Oh, I think maybe focus is off here. That's not the point of today's video. So I'll zoom out a little bit to not kind of expose that issue. And now I would ask the producer probably to cut because now you can see that the Panasonic has been doing this creep zoom pan tilt thing for a while. And the point is I release the button and the Panasonic stops moving at this point. And that's, of course, after we have cut over to the new framing that I did. Cruise control, ladies and gentlemen, it is possible for you to kick up your legs and just chill, but you could also use it to basically keep multiple cameras in motion. 
Before we end this video, I would like to show you the web UI of the PDC Extreme. First, let's just um, mention the fact that the PDC Extreme is absolutely self-contained. It has everything inside of it. It requires to talk to these cameras. It doesn't need this computer, only for setting up. So this web UI comes straight out of this box. And you see we have added a BirdDog P200, a Canon CIN100, a Panasonic UE 150 camera here, and even an ATEM switcher at the very bottom. They are, uh, they are all connected. And if I wanted to add more cameras or devices, I can basically search them up on the network here. So there you see some cameras are appearing. I could also filter this list. So maybe if I search Canon, you see there are some Canon cameras on our network today. What about Bolin? No. What about BirdDog? We had a BirdDog camera. Yes, there are two BirdDog cameras, etc. You can also manually search for devices like all the BirdDog models that we have will appear here or Avonic or anything else. So adding more cameras is as easy as that. And then we have a camera selector over here that helps you to also organize them on your controllers. Notice the order, Panasonic, Bird Dog, Canon. This comes out of the order here. But if I change, you'll also see that it swaps around on the controller. So this is why we have a separate camera selector to allow you to do that. And you can even name them the way you want, like P200 for the Bird Dog, and instantly it's updated in the display. So that's what you can do on the home screen. It's so easy to configure our P2C controllers in this way, even adding a routing trigger like the ATEM. Because when I change here, and you see that change on the output of the uh, video switcher connected to it, the ATEM switcher here. That is because every button press not only selects the camera, but it also sends so-called routing trigger to the, uh, let me see, uh, program in this case. I use the program for it, but it could also be auxiliary or preview, or you could choose some of the other routing options that we have if you have your cameras connected into a larger infrastructure. We have come to the end of this presentation. So like and subscribe this video. That is a great way for you to stay in touch with the many new inventions from Skahoy. We are also on Facebook, X and Instagram where you can follow us as well. We are always happy to answer your questions. So feel free to reach out to our wonderful support and sales team for any inquiries.